This episode of The Pit is sponsored by Epic Six Productions. For all things epic, go to www.epic6p.com. Now, listen, if anyone else would like to advertise on The Pit, get at us any way you can. You know, epic6p at gmail.com. Actually, if you go to www.epic6p.com and you get the contact link, you can holler at us. We need bandwidth, people. We want to keep giving shows. Just need a little help. But, yeah, until then, kill yourselves. Let's start the show. I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers of all time. I'm one of the best singers and one of the best looking motherfuckers you've ever seen. Hold my drink, bitch. Hey, everybody, we're all going to get late. I'm going to put my nuts out. On the front side, okay? Unless you're having casual sex nowadays, like playing Russian roulette. And I know I've thrown my dick on the crap table many a night. You be kind, hey, motherfucker. God's watching me do number two? Oh, man, I'm a sinner and God's a pervert. All right, welcome back to the pit. Well, I guess I'm not welcoming you back. It's kind of a new episode, but... Welcome either way, I'm E. Yo, what up, y'all? This is Jay, and this is uh, episode number six. Yeah. We're going to uh, keep this here boy rolling. Six <laughs> episodes already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing? Good, good. good. Feeling good. good? Yeah, you know, one more, well, a couple more hours left until the regular work week starts, so. Right, right, right. You know, kind of uh, looking forward to it, kind of not, you know. When, <laughs> wait, why would you ever be looking forward to going back to work? Uh, cause I look forward to getting a paycheck. Well, I mean, you got sick time, vacation time. I mean, yeah, but eventually but, it runs out though. But just being there is, yeah. it sucks. Yeah, ass. I I, I do kind of enjoy my job. I so. mean, I'm pretty sure if we sat here, we could probably think of at least a hundred things we'd like to be doing other than going to death row. That's true. That's true. I mean, I mean, I love some of the other inmates at death row. I mean, you know, there's some good people over there, but uh. Yeah, you're right. We could we could probably think of a lot of other things, but unfortunately, um, my lotto check ain't came in yet. So, till that happens, why don't we ever play lotto? Uh, I don't know, cause I mean you got to play to win, right? Yeah, I mean I, I think someone suggested that a couple weeks ago. Was it you? It was, it was probably me. Okay, I, I suggest I, a lot of shit, and we just you know. just disregard it. Yeah, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, kind of we do. Yeah, uh, yeah. Jason's talking, talking. We're nodding our head, mm. pretending we're listening. Okay, on to the next topic. Wait, was that about food again? <laughs> ah, that's usually what it is. Never mind. Whatever. But yeah, no, seriously, I, what day do they even do the lotto? Fuck if I know, dude. I don't know. I know they do. There's like, why is there 800 different lottos? Didn't they, back in the day, didn't there only used to be one California lottery? Probably, yeah. Now but, it's I. I think there's one where it's like. Tied in with all these other states, one where it's yeah, like you only get like fifty thousand dollars, one where it's like twenty million. I don't know. There's, it seems like there's like eight thousand freaking yeah. lottos. I think the the multi state one is the Powerball, and that's the the big bitch. That's the big one there. That's the you know what well, was the last one that somebody won? Like a few people was like six hundred and twenty million dollars, and it was split like four or five ways or some shit like that. It's a lot of money, son. I think I can make that work. Yeah. Yeah. I figure for me to retire and uh, leave death row, I, I'd have to have like, I need like 40, 45 mil. What? Yeah. I would need about mm, one mil. One mil don't, it ain't going to last long. Okay, so. okay, okay, look at this. If, let's say, an average take home check is, I don't know, I, I don't know what everyone makes or whatever, but let's just say someone takes home 1100 bucks, so 2200 bucks a month, roughly. Okay. So in an average year, that's what twenty. You're better at math than Four thousand, but two hundred. I don't know. Like let's say like twenty six thousand around there, twenty seven thousand somewhere, somewhere in that range. All right. Take home. Right. Net. Yeah. Okay. So twenty six thousand times. I just say twenty five thousand. These are number to work with. All right. So in four years, you're making a hundred thousand. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that means times that by ten. In forty years, that's four hundred thousand. You would have made. I don't know how long you plan on living. <laughs> I probably got 30, 40 left in me. I don't know. I'm hoping. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But either way, 45 mil, I mean, how are you going to, what are you going to spend like freaking a million dollars a year for the next 45 years? Like, I guess that would, that would be the math there. I mean, if, if you put me up to the challenge, you know, 
I can make it happen. I wouldn't. I mean, I you know invest it. I want to like leave some for like my for your nieces kids that aren't gonna happen. <laughs> for, your for my nieces and nephews and shit. You know, my fam or whatever. I take care of my my peoples, but you know, I, I got shit I want to buy. I, I got places I want to go. Things I want to do. I don't know. I just don't want to have to go to work every day. Right. That's what I need. Like 40, 45 mil. Like Jeez. a mil wouldn't be able to do shit, dude. That's that shit is small now, dude. Like it seems like a lot of money, but it is a lot of money. You will never see a million dollars in your lifetime. Yeah, I probably won't. And that you know, and that's going to work every. This is not doing shit every day. Just waking up, <laughs> sitting on the couch, right? And yeah, but I'm living I, cool. I got stuff I want to buy. I, I save some of that money. Invest some of that. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I would. That's what I'm saying. But some of the shit I want to buy, like I want to. What are you going to buy for? Right, well, remember, you need forty-five million. That's a very specifically <laughs> large number. I got dreams. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's that like? You, you can try to bang like Kim Kardashian, and I, no, no, that'd, that'd probably just take up like a, like that'd be like a meal probably. But no, a meal <laughs> just to get in that circle. That's all it's gonna take <laughs> yeah. to, to get in the Kanye freaking Reggie Bush circle. Yeah, right, it's gonna take right. about a meal to get in. <laughs> to get in, I need I'll need residuals to stay in, yeah, but to get in, I can at least you know. That's the cover charge, a million <laughs> right, dollars. Right. No, dude, like, like. You you remember the movie uh, The Count of Monte Cristo? I've heard of it. I've never seen it. Oh, dude, you fucking suck. All right, so my man, he he gets betrayed by his friend and shit. Gets locked up, right? He gets out. He ends up getting this big looted treasure for these pirates and shit, right? Befriends them, boom, whatever. So he pulls up with his dude. Um, forgot what his friend's name was, but it's that that ugly Mexican cat who's in a gang of movies. Like he either plays like a comedian or he's got like a. He's gonna got like a squared off kind of head. Uh, fuck is it? Uh, Danny Trejo? No, 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 no. no Cheech? No, no, no. no. Um, um, I'm out of Mexican actors. I'll, I'll find it. Uh, God damn it! Now I got to IMDb this motherfucker. Uh, but anyway, he pulls up, right? Him and this dude, and uh, he's got a fucking horse carriage, and they pull up to this big ass fucking estate with this French dude, right? Huge, a sprawling estate, and. They pull up, and the master of the house comes out, and he's like, yeah, what, what can I do for you? And uh, the little Spanish dude, the Mexican guy's like, my master would like to buy your home. And he's like, yeah, whatever, dude, get out of here. He's like, no, seriously, he wants to buy your home. And he fucking opens the back of the little uh, cart that he's, you know, horse and shit is pulling, and it's just full of jewels and fucking just shit, gold and silver and jewels. Dude, right over the house right away. I want to be able to do that shit, son. I want like that kind of money. I can walk up on a crib and be like, "Yeah, you got like thirty days," and just hand them like, "Boom," a grip of cash, and they be out. And I just had this big sprawling fucking crib, like, because we gotta have a we gotta have a compound for the crew. So okay, well, forty five million turns into about thirty million after taxes. Mm, yeah, 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 probably yeah, about, about twenty. Yeah. Nah, they're not gonna take more than fifty percent. Oh, okay. Cause, so, yeah, it'll take about, you know, 25%. Uh, all right, say. well, I can take that. Okay. Yeah, and then you figure, okay, you're going to have to start giving away a lot of the money for write-offs because then the next year, the taxes are going to get killed. I mean, like, yeah, I guess you're right. The, you need that kind of money because 45 mil is really only, you know, ends up being 20 mil, right. which you could still have a pretty damn good time on. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I could have a good time on, at this point, I'd take, if I won three racks, I'd be happy as shit. <laughs> True. <laughs> Seriously, you, I would be yeah, ecstatic. Yeah, I, I hear you, man. But I don't. I just got uh, uh, forty-five mil. That's what it takes for you to leave work. Well, I mean, that's what it would take for me to leave work with a really shitty attitude. <laughs> just, yeah. You know fuck what? you. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. You're cool. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. <I'm> out. <laughs> All yeah. right, uh, I gotta find this fucker. Man, that guy's gonna bother me if I don't real quick. Sorry. Well, no, I mean, uh, Luis Guzman. Oh, man, <laughs> this dude, fucking squared up face again. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I know who you're talking about now. Yeah. Uh, My man's in the old I think he's Puerto Rican, actually. Puerto Rican. All right. Well, whatever. Uh, I'm assuming. I don't think he's Mexican. Mexican of the sea. Whatever. <laughs> East Coast Mexican. <laughs> right. <laughs> Cubans or Southern Mexicans. That's right. That's right. It is. Way South Mexican, so. <laughs> yeah, all you had to say was Pachanga. Pachanga. Yeah, that's who he is. He's Pachanga. He's, yeah. he's Al Pacino's sidekick in Carlito's Way. Uh, Pachanga. My yeah. bad. So, yeah. I want to do that. I want to be able to pull up to a house. Like, you know that house on uh, on Sisk? 
the, the, the big white house with the, the Please don't say you you would have all that money and you would still live in Modesto. No, 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 no. Just like a house like something like that or like one of them, you know, just a big ass house. I want to and, and plus like I said, we need to have a compound for the crew. So like everybody got their own house built to their own specs on a big ass compound. So we have our own private shit and then in the middle we have, you know, the big house for everybody. <laughs> the big house. The big house. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just trying to get inside the head. <laughs> just a brother trying to get to the big house. That's all. Had generations later, and <laughs> still striving just to get to the big house. That's it. <laughs> Tired of being a field hand. <laughs> Needs to be a house nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Steven. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. So what's going on this week, man? Uh, this long weekend. We had a nice long weekend. Uh, yeah. Oh, I think, yeah, we, we're still trying to. I haven't had. Much sleep still. Well, last night I actually slept good for the first time. Nah, that's good. That's because good. the rest of the weekend I was freaking just. Yes. Yeah, done. Good. Half the reason was is we went out of town, and uh, you know we would go out and party and shit at night, whatever, and come back to the house, and there's probably uh, five of us crashing in the same space. And this gentleman next to me, <laughs> I didn't realize was a hybrid. He was not a human being. People, he is a fucking bear <laughs> a grizzly bear i and apparently it was winter because this motherfucker was hibernating <laughs> and shit. like i shit you not this narcoleptic bastard we, we was sitting there and we were just talking and shooting the shit whatever and all of a sudden you're <laughs> i was like what the fuck yeah, apparently I was having a whole conversation. I was talking, and then just like out of nowhere, yeah, in one snap, done. And then somebody say something, I wake up, we go back to talking again. And, and then, then the, the problem was, it was so <laughs> insanely loud that we there was no way sleep was not going to happen. It was not an option. <laughs> Nick kept saying, well, "Just let me fall asleep first. Well, no, fall. Nick. Nick was just as bad. You and Nick were like dueling bears and shit. It wasn't even a bear. It was like. Fucking Chewbacca meets a <laughs> bear meets, goddamn, I don't know what, but it was horrible. And I, so yeah, the last night we got home, I finally got to sleep in my own room. It was crashed out and it was out, and it nothing, was amazing. Nothing better being in your own bed. Yeah, seriously, I, you know that's yeah. one thing. It's like you can go out and you can have fun away, you know, party whatever you're gonna do. But when you come home, that first like where you just flop on your bed, yeah. that's probably the single best feeling. Yeah. Other than sex, yeah, ever. Yeah. On your own pillow and shit. Yeah. Own bed. Like, I hate fucking hotel pillows. I hate soft ass, mushy ass pillows. They fucking annoy me. Mm-hmm. Like, my pillowcase, I got like two nice, you know, pretty thick pillows in there. My shit's like, if I got into a pillow fight with my shit, I'd be knocking niggas you out. You like everything thick, don't you? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like my women, like my pillows. <laughs> Plus size. <laughs> he shots for his pillows at Lane Bryant. That's right. Yeah, damn it. They're big and they're white. <laughs> if you ain't double digits, I'm not sleeping on you. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Then so I finally was able to catch up on some sleep, and so I feel a little better now. But the one thing, the first thing I did when I got home though was I was like, shit, like uh, hour and a half, Walking Dead. No, nah, yeah, you gotta had to had to catch up. Man. Yeah, and for those of you who aren't familiar, Walking Dead's this show on AMC. And if you're not familiar, you should really think about just ending your life. Right now, because it's probably the single greatest show on TV. I, I, I'd be my vote. Yeah, yeah, it's it's one of the best ones up there. Um, I don't watch a lot of all that other. I don't know how y'all get around and, and live on these fucking reality TV shows. I don't give a shit about a housewife in any fucking city. Yeah, fuck reality. TV. I don't give a shit about basketball wives, hip hop wives, none of them hoes. I don't give a shit. What y'all need to do is get your life right and watch some Walking Dead. And then uh, maybe save up some money. So when uh, HBO come around, and, you know, you can get you some, some HBO goodness because you need to get your uh, Game of Thrones on. And also watch the newsroom because that's the hot shit. Yeah. If the, you don't know the only that. way I'm getting HBO or any of those channels is if I run cable from a neighbor's house because fuck that shit. I well, if I, get, if I get the HBO Go, I'll get you my password. And then uh, you can watch HBO Go on the, uh, I think you can watch it on the three. Yeah. I think I could be wrong. Oh, but I, I, I'm just get like a Roku box. Yeah, get the shit. Roku box. You can do that shit on there. Roku's a shit, son. But yeah, no, Walking Dead. Seriously, like last night. Hold on. So uh, this might be some spoiler alerts. So if you haven't watched Walking Dead, feel free to uh, pause Fuck right that. here. No, if you haven't watched Walking Dead, it was just Dead, last night, son. It was just last night. I, I don't mean, care. We gotta... If you haven't watched it, you should have already watched it. So just listen to the shit anyway. <laughs> 
and go back <laughs> and watch it and make sure and just think if if we're saying if we're speaking bullshit, just come back and say bullshit. But yeah, yeah. Compare and contrast. And 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 it'll be for us to know that um you're you're calling bullshit on what we're saying. Uh feel free to hit us up at uh what's at, it? at the pit podcast on Twitter. Yeah. Where else? I think it's a official pit podcast at gmail dot com. Okay. Okay. Um epic six P at gmail dot com. At epic six underscore E on Twitter. Uh yeah, you can find me at a uh, Shy Town two, the number two, Motown. Uh, on Twitter at Shy Town to Motown, on yeah. Twitter. Um, also, um, I'm stealing this from another podcast. Uh, shout out to uh, Rod and Karen, another black guy who tips. If you leave us uh, any remarks or any reviews on iTunes, five stars. Any five star rating we see, we read. So and we'll read it out loud. We'll put it out there. If you want, if you want us to give us your name, we can. If not, meh. We'll probably do it anyway. But. Uh, you know, or leave us a disclaimer. So maybe we'll start doing that. We'll get a little email thing. You know, we'll, if you leave us emails, we'll read them. You leave us tweets, we'll read them. And uh, if you leave us five star reviews on iTunes, we'll read them. Anything less than five star, we'll just keep it to ourselves. We ain't gonna say shit. Online. No, no, we'll read it too, and then we'll just call you an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I will at least. All right, well he will. <laughs> so yeah, so if you wanna call bullshit on anything that we're talking about, uh, feel free to actually. Uh, let us know, cause then that way we know you listen to the show. Yeah, I don't care if you hate us, just listen. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, for sure. Cause no. deep down inside, you know you like us. You can try and hate us on the on the surface, but you know deep down inside, you like us. Or at least you learn to. Yeah, you'll you'll get around to it. It's like you know, it's like anal. We'll just lube you up and work it slowly and slowly get in there, and in time, you'll learn to enjoy it. Is this from experience? Uh that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to make sure you weren't just telling us right now that you're now in the squat. You are the catcher now. Uh, no, 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 no power. Oh, Buster Posey over here. <laughs> no power bottoms. <laughs> but, but yeah, no, Walking Dead. Walking Dead. So, you know, it's, the show is just, it, it's continuously evolving into this epic concoction of awesomeness. And last night was no different. The only gripe of the show is that it's only an hour long i feel like i don't get enough in an hour <laughs> and i hate fucking commercials i can't deal with commercials like why can't they do commercials on tv shows like they do on podcasts and shit where it's like they read them at the beginning they have them all at the beginning all i mean i know why because everyone would just fast forward to that shit but it's just so distracting you get caught up you're going 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 and then boom now, message from Dove. It's like, I don't give a fuck about soap right now. I want to <laughs> see if Rick is going to still ca- to talk to his dead wife. You know, if he's as crazy fuck is out there, you know, what is he going to do? I don't <laughs> care about Doritos right now. Oh, well, actually, fuck that. I always care about Doritos. Always care about Doritos. But I don't need to see a commercial for it at that time. Is it wrong that I would, would like talking about to come out with a Cool Ranch Dorito uh, shell? Cool Ranch Dorito. I, there's nothing. I have. I, I can't. I don't slander Cool Ranch Dorito. Yeah, wait, wait, I would think that would be. As a, as are a you talking Taco Bell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you not see like the thing I post on Twitter? I must have missed it. I'm sorry. I, I believe it's March. I want to say eighth. There oh. is the Cool Ranch Dorito taco is being released. Ah, yeah. How did I miss that? I have wait. No was idea. it on your feed or on the uh, podcast feed? I I think I retweeted it from all the feeds. Oh shit! I must have missed that. Thing. It's. I still don't know how to work fucking Twitter. I don't know. No, seriously, like the, the Cool Ranch Dorito, like that. Yeah, I I almost need new pants because it's <laughs> that exciting to me. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, so Rick is on the fucking crazy train to who the fuck knows where. Um, and let's see what else. Uh, the fucking I, you know what I would love? I would love to have uh, the fuck is that black chick's name again? Michonne. Yeah, Michonne. I would love to have her on my team at any time. I, I wouldn't really give her any shit. Like. Chick's badass. I don't know. I kind of like. I, I I'm kind of starting to like Merle more and more. <laughs> you would, you fuck. <laughs> he's an asshole and just this uh, old crotchety racist bastard. He's 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 he's, he's, he's I think he's a good guy now. I want to uh, say. Well, he's played by Michael Rooker, who's honestly like he's highly underrated. IMDb Michael Rooker, like he was in Cliffhanger. I think he was in Tombstone. He was the. Dad in Mall Rats right, that, that right. got uh, stink palmed. Uh, yeah, 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 he's bad, and, and the voice on Black Ops. Yes, 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 yes. You're, you're running. Yeah, on Black Ops. Like him and 
uh, Norman Reedus, who plays Daryl, right. is fucking badass too. Yeah, they're they're a badass duo. Like, yeah, I I mean I can watch a sh- I could watch a show or play a game. Like if they were the leads, I think I could uh, I could do that. But I don't know, man. Merle is I don't know. He's too much of a fucking wild card, man. He's just well, I mean, you know where he's coming from. You know he's a racist bastard, and you know he's a hateful bastard. So you need to know exactly where he's coming from. But I would I don't think like he could play good guy for too long. I think he eventually fucking turn and he, he, it's he, all he, about surf, he's self. He's not so much a good guy. Is it? He's just like a. I'm just gonna get in a fight anyway, so I'll fight with you cats right now. So he's pay. <laughs> we'll save the details <laughs> for that, that one later. <laughs> uh, the next show. But yeah, I mean, but yeah. seriously, the Walking Dead is it's phenomenal TV. It's and if you don't like zombies, if that's not, if you think, oh, I don't like zombies, I don't like horror, it has little to do with that. It's more about just the whole. You know, survival and this the human interaction and yeah, it, it's like a microcosm of you know society now. It just, but it's taking like a closer in depth look at it because it's without all the outside interference because all, all the, the other distractions. Yeah, <laughs> there's very little distraction other than somebody trying to eat your face. Yeah, and it kind of goes into you know it's the whole fight or flight and. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know I understand self preservation and you know and you know trying to uh, also preserve the the group. You know, because I mean, you you can't really make it out there on your own too too long. Eventually, you're gonna run out. You need you need a well, group. That's why that's why I don't, group. that's the one thing I don't understand. It's like when you watch like The Walking Dead, like there's always you know the a good group and a bad group. And if I know that there's Basically, humans are outnumbered at this point. It's millions and millions of zombies coming. Right. Any human I come across, I'm like, fuck it, you're joining the team now. And like, we're all, I don't give a fuck what kind of person. I was like, we need to survive. Right. But you also, I mean, we've, we've watched the show. So we know that there are, there are those out there who, they're, once again, they're more on a self-preservation than a pre- preservation of a group. So if at any moment you get caught slipping, then they're liable to slit your throat. And like them dudes, you got to keep at a distance, or you got to have a really good leader and a, a right hand man or woman to keep that shit, keep them people at bay. You know, like if they can follow direction and and move through the group, cool. But if, if they all about themselves and nobody else, and eh, you gotta just gotta you gotta cut them out, man. Like let them go do their own thing, start their own crew or whatever. But I don't know, like yeah, yeah. It, make, it makes you think though. Like seriously, just about any part of life like uh, people oh i'm good on my own i'm good well this shit really went down how good would you be on your own right right. you know i don't know but to me walking dead last night was phenomenal it's just a highlight every every week when it comes on i just i just hate waiting a whole week for it (laughs) oh besides walking dead like what other shows do you watch um really all right well i'm a travel channel junkie so i'm always on like Anthony Bourdain's uh, No Reservations but even though now that's off he has the layover so I watch that kind of shit um, Bizarre Foods with Andrew Zimmerman like stuff like that I like those kind of shows once again it's surrounded by food and alcohol so why wouldn't I like it but uh, like I said I like Game of Thrones when it's on um, The Newsroom is one of the best shows is that it on I've Netflix? Seen. Game of Thrones is not no how about Newsroom? no no I just don't, I don't think Netflix has the the licensing for them yet. See me, I I can't watch shows on besides The Walking Dead. That's the only one I'll make an effort to. Other than that, besides Sports Center, and sports itself or whatever, I I don't even bother trying to watch TV. You know, just the shows on the network because it's too hard to schedule schedule your week around it. And DVR, I don't like commercials. I hate it. It's you just fast forward through the commercials, dude. It's still it's too much hassle. Seriously? Yeah, fuck that shit. Like, I want to go to Netflix and I want just to a whole episode to run. I want a thirty minute show to be done in twenty one minutes <laughs> because I don't want to fucking deal with commercials. I don't want to have to fast forward it. I just yeah, just fast forward the. I, I have I, I probably have severe ADD. I'm assuming because I got I, it's hard for me to stay focused on anything that long. Yeah, not for me. I can veg out pretty hard. I I today I think uh, watched. Maybe five episodes of uh, Breaking Bad. That's an hour show, too, isn't it? About yeah. Fuck yeah! Like I mean, I, I've done that before with certain shows, but yeah. But you watched it on Netflix, right? 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the no commercials. Right. But still, I don't know, I'm just Com- killing commercial five hours. Commercials just it's like a buzzkill. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's it's like when you fucking and you're about to come and you're like, oh, let me pull out before I bust, and you're like, oh no, I'm not gonna do something else to occupy my time until I can, you know, push this down and then get back in it. No. I don't know. I, 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 get, I, 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 I get the analogy. You see where I'm going. Yeah, I get the analogy. I just don't. I don't ever do that. So no, okay. But <laughs> no, seriously, I just ugh. yeah. Usually, like at, at night when I'm like crashing out before I go to bed, I will watch because I, I I still love cartoons and I don't give a shit what anybody else says about it. But uh, like I, at, at the house, I'm watching uh, this anime called Samurai Seven, and that's about. 30 Anime, about 40 you, minutes 13 year old fucking Japanese kid and shit deep down inside yeah <laughs> <laughs> you have like four of them inside of you apparently <laughs> exactly uh, but like I'll watch that you know it's like 30-45 minutes of a show or whatever and I'll just sit back and just kill episodes of that or like I watch the um, Ultimate Spider-Man on Disney XD and the Avengers when it comes back on and what else uh, the new Thundercats was bullshit so I don't even watch that anymore but uh, yeah that's that's I can oh. I can sit and watch TV shows like I have shows. Uh, Comic Book Man, love that show. It's a great show on uh, AMC. No, it's good. And, uh, like I said, I not like I have I'm against anything against. It. I just won't plan. Like, oh, it's Tuesday night. I have to watch whatever the fucks on Tuesday night. Right, right. Oh, eight thirty night. Sorry, guys, can't do anything. I have to watch the show. Ah, fuck that shit. Well, that's why you got a DVR. You just go do other shit and you just come home and watch it when you're done. Yeah, but I, then I forget about it and like, there's other shit on. Baseball season's about to start, so that's what I'll be watching every night. Yeah, see, that won't be me. Yeah. No, I know it won't be you because you'll be watching, like, oh, Horrible Foods, like, Marathon. <laughs> Probably. Okay. I'm sure there's going to be a Colon big- Cleansers. <laughs> you know, that, that's the next show on the Food Network is Colon Cleansers. Yeah, oh. I don't like watch Food Network too much, but yeah. Oh, I'm, pr- I'm pretty sure there'll shit, be a... Travel, food, same shit. There'll all. be a Bacon Paradise 3 on, and I'll be watching that. Bacon Paradise? Yeah. The fuck is Bacon Paradise? See, this is what happens when you don't watch good TV, sir. Big in Paradise is basically, you know, they go around the nation finding all these great restaurants. There's even another show, United States of Bacon, where I don't know, I don't know what happened like in the last like six years or so, ten years, but Bacon has taken this serious like resurgence in no, our. No, Bacon's amazing, but well, yeah, yeah. But I'm the saying the fact that there's two shows on TV in this country about Bacon just shows you that. This we have no hope as a society. We're all gonna die in three generations of life. Expenses <laughs> gonna be thirty. It's like that. You ever seen that shit, Wally? That fucking the robot. Yeah, Pixar and how like over generations, everyone's just fat, fat, fat to the right, point where right. like by the time that you know, like ten generations on the road, no one can walk because they're all just fat. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking America. <laughs> We're the only fucking country in the world that has an issue. Like, oh goddamn, we 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 we. The opposite of starving. We're fucking <laughs> dying because we're eating too much. It's like I don't understand that shit. I mean, like I'm I'm a husky bitch, you know. Like you're a man of larger carriage, but the fact that we have sh- channels dedicated to food, the it's not even food, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the marketing of obesity is because it's, it's not like oh you know this is how we you know cook a balance. Like, no, it's fucking. Like Deep fried bacon cheesecake with <laughs> butter on top, you know, or some shit. Like, I mean, it, the, the fact that I said that out loud now, it does sound amazing to me. <laughs> but I just, I don't know. I, 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 watching that, it just, I almost feel guilty watching it, I guess. Not me. No, no, no. I watch it and I'm like, shit, I need to get some of that. So then I, I put it in places in my phone and I'll save it off the show and then, you know, that's why when we go out, I'm like, hey, man, we got to go check this place out. We got to go check that place out. You know, that's how I find these places, man. Stuff local, stuff in the bay, whatever. I'm I'm down to, you know, I'm always down to try different things, though. So if I can, if the TV can help me find some of these other places where I can the help. The TV's going to help you find a heart attack, so it's going to help you find. <laughs> help you find cardiac arrest. <laughs> it's going to help you find hypertension. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to help you find closed arteries. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Like, no, well, no, no, no. Be maybe, no. Maybe you should watch the. Do they, I don't, do they have an exercise and fitness channel? You, know, you should watch that motherfucker. They probably do. I don't know. I don't You're know just not interested in that. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's that so T is, fitting. That fucking Sean T is always on some shit. <laughs> Who's that? The, the, the fucking, uh, what's that exercise shit? Not the P90X, but the other one. 
fucking the insanity shit. Insanity. Yeah, that fucker. I don't know. Direct TV. My, I have a gripe with them. Fuck Direct TV. I'm just saying. Why? All right. Why? 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 Why does any broadcasting network need to have like eighty five thousand channels of just like infomercials all the fucking time? Like because they got the, a shitload of the, infomercials. The channels, networks. Dude. That's not Direct TV's fault. It's the network's fault. Comcast has that shit too. Not as many as fucking Direct TV. Well, because Comcast doesn't have that many channels. <sighs> Yeah, that's lame. Well, it's just certain networks that that's how they pay for the other shows. I guess whatever. Well, because there's well, it's that sponsorship. You have yeah, pro- you yeah. hate capitalism, don't you? You communist fuck. <laughs> <laughs> don't like it? Don't watch. <laughs> I don't. Just like this podcast, you don't like it? Don't listen. No, uh, you know? no, no. Listen and just learn to like it. Yeah, whatever. You can kill yourselves. <laughs> no, but uh, no, nah, I, I mean like he, he's got those little infomercials on and shit, and I look and I'm like. That looks really hard. <laughs> Speaking of infomercials, like have you ever watched that one? It's I I don't know if it's, it's not an infomercial. It's like a shopping one, but it's like the the broad and, and the glasses that like she looks like a nerd, but she's like it's all like the sex toys. Oh, uh, shit! Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they always have like the uh, fucking vibrator show or yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. yeah. I'm just like yeah. I, I flipped it on, like what the fuck? I think it's like this is there's a whole show dedicated to yeah. it, and obviously yeah. it's been on forever, so. They're making money. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, you. I don't know. I, sometimes I watch infomercials. Like, if it's like three in the morning and I can't fall asleep, it's actually. I figured you would just turn on Sports Center. Well, yeah. I, I, but seriously, after you've watched, I've, I literally will watch it eight times sometimes in a row. <laughs> but sometimes I want to see the slap chop. Okay. You know, that, or. <laughs> Sham wow. Sham wow. <laughs> And any of that, you know, or that shit that makes your, your headlights not dingy. I don't uh, know. Yeah. Like, all that. Like, every once in a while is okay, but. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I the as seen on TV store. Huh? You just seriously the as seen on TV store. Like, well, like, <laughs> like, like if you go to the store, sometimes you they, it works because yeah, yeah. I'll be walking by. I'm like, God damn, those look amazing. And like, and the kids are like, what? And I'm like, yeah, that that, that the thing that makes you like the round pancake balls in the pan. <laughs> like I saw on the TV. I wanted one, but I wanted to pay 19.95 at that point in time. Yeah, I didn't have the money for shipping, but. Even though I could have got two for nineteen ninety five if I called right then and there. I knew if I waited a month and a half, it'll be in stores. But you don't get the extra one. Eh, yeah, that's true. But yeah, I, it works. I mean, yeah. they, they're on the channel because it works for a reason. I'd rather watch that than the seven hundred club or any of that bullshit. Yeah, or, fuck all that. Because that's my main gripe is that not that the you know the infomercials. It's, there's eight billion church shows on like. Like if you try to watch anything on Sunday and it's not football season, it's the worst. <laughs> because up, like seriously, uh, the the morning you wake up, you turn on, it's like, oh, it's some dude in front of a podium, like sweaty, like and just, you know, giving his little take on religion. So which is fine if that's what you're into, but it's like, god damn it, if people, is that how lazy we are? Like you just like, if you really wanted to get your Jesus fixed, can't you just go to fucking church? Right, right, right. I guess I should say fucking church, but <laughs> just whatever. If they had a fucking church, I would go to that church. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like, well, they could be the Catholic church, I guess. <laughs> wow. <laughs> too soon? But boom, psh, too soon. It's kind of ongoing. <laughs> it's always going to be too soon if we don't talk about it. That's true. That's true. No, but yeah, th- those shows get on my nerves because it's like, God damn, it's this, the same shit every single one, but Sundays are basically just that. Once football season is done, yeah, that's true. It's like, yeah, once once football's over, it's like, man, well, now what? No, I just catch up on shit on my DVR. There you go. Net, uh, like, is Hulu Plus any good? <sighs> I don't know. Like, I've been, I've been, I don't like the interface. So, I, I, I know I complain about a lot of shit, but I do not like the fucking interface for Hulu Plus. It's not easy to navigate like fucking Netflix to me. Because I've been thinking about getting Hulu Plus just because there's certain shows like. I get through the first three seasons on Netflix, The League. Right. I watched the other day. I went, you know, I finished this show. It's on FX called The League about these guys, kind of like us. They they have fancy football league or whatever, but they're just just like bust each other's balls all the time. It's kind of funny. Right. right. But they're already on. They just finished season four, but Netflix only has up to season three. So I'm like, shit. And I'm not gonna go out and buy the DVD. Never mind. Yeah. Or Blu-ray or whatever. So I'm like. Fuck. And then there was another show, Workaholics, I started watching. Yeah, yeah. That, well, that's funny as shit, dude. And they had just the first season on um, Netflix. Now I'm like, I want to watch it? more. That's uh, the first one? Yeah, just the first season. So then I'm like, shit. Now I'm wondering if Hulu has it, because I don't want to sign up for Hulu and then it have a bunch of bullshit. Have you checked on demand? 
What do you mean on demand? You have Comcast, sir. Have you checked on demand? What do you mean? Like, as far as these shows, if they're right, let's see if they're on demand. See, on demand is kind of bullshit to me too. Cause <laughs> <laughs> No, because on demand it has the current season, what's going on. Well, they have they sometimes they have the the earlier seasons too. You just gotta check I know. and see. I I, f- I don't like Comcast. <sighs> Whatever. On demand, it, it's a hassle. Plus, on demand still has the, it still has the commercials. No, it doesn't. I, I just watched The Walking Dead on demand today again. How many commercials does it have? This it's a, it, it's just ex- like they like they DVR their own shit. <laughs> it's all the same commercials. It's that game with the fucker and the. You know the is it was like one it's probably just one commercial though right it's not a full like no it's the same it like well, shit it goes change. for like eight to ten minutes and then there's like a five commercials and then it's the same shit yeah well shit doesn't change I, I didn't used to have that before yeah well, times are tough they need more money I guess so then well because otherwise if they didn't have that they if everything on demand didn't have commercials no one would work, no one would watch live. Well, that's part of the DVR. Like, shit, I barely watch stuff live. Cause but I when just... you DVR, though, because the fact that you DVR'd it right. and you're recording the commercials, <laughs> it's still it's basically when they do, like, the rating system and all that shit, it still shows, oh, they watched this show for this time. So, it basically, it's fucking... Right. Jason's battling a moth right now. <laughs> this is a fucking moth in the studio. Fucking, fucking Godzilla vs. Mothra <laughs> right now. That's right in front of my eyes. It's freaking awesome. Fuck you, moth. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole. But yeah, no, that so on demand doesn't work for me. But I've been thinking about Hulu Plus. All right, just because I'm like it's eight bucks a month. True, true. So if you got that and you got Netflix, which try is it like, free for a month, see how you like it. Eh, go from there. I like I said, I just don't like the interface. Maybe the interface is a uh, it's on the three, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh I just don't like the interface. It doesn't it doesn't seem easy to access. The UI on it is just not hot. The what user interface. Oh, UI. Okay, let's, let's, you're speaking fucking Mandarin to me and shit. <laughs> it's just not. It's just not fucking hot to me. I don't know. I know some people at work who who use Hulu Plus. I know people who've just like completely just said fuck cable and they watch they stream shows live on on the internet and. Well, there's websites I know that you can do that, but the quality's never the same. Right. right. Like I I I can't. I, I've gotten to the point where I'm so spoiled. Like if it's. If I'm watching TV and it's not in HD, I'm like, ah, fuck this. <laughs> it's not worth my time. If it's, a, it's a, I'm watching on my HD TV and I have HD service, but if the show's not in HD, fuck that. Yeah, I understand. It makes my eye, it makes me think my eyes are retarded or something. I don't know. <laughs> I, I can't. Oh shit. Well, yeah, I, I, I guess I understand what you're saying on that one. I'm kind of the same way. I just want a really nice big TV in my room. You still have a tube TV, don't you? Yeah, fuck that tube TV. Jesus Christ! You realize they're like two hundred bucks now. Nah. You, the price of you getting your ball snipped, you could have bought a TV. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, what's really more important in your life? Uh, the TV. N- just, just admit it. It's the TV. No, 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 no. Because no. you, you, you've, you've gone thirty three years without having kids thus far, so you're doing all right. Yeah, but we can't change it. So we gotta get the ball snipped, and then we have a nice TV to sit down and watch. I guess. See, wouldn't it be easier if you didn't want a kid just to, you know, bust and spin kick? <laughs> <laughs> just saying. I mean, I'm not advocating violence. And <laughs> stupid. <laughs> and a foolproof plan. <laughs> yeah, you, you, like the Van, the Van I'm Dam of not having babies over here. And I'm gonna go no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I would like to not end up in prison. <laughs> but yeah, you you seriously need to step your TV game up though. I know, son. I don't know. It was it was a free TV, so I've just been riding with it. Well, so, I mean, because yeah. even if you only got like a something shitty, like a thirty-two inch or something like that, I mean. Yeah, yeah, I can do it a thirty-two in a room because my room's not that not that big. I mean, if I can roll with a thirty-two, it should be fine. Because yeah. you know, you can never have enough TVs. That's that is true. That's true. So I'm, I've been thinking about going dual screen in my room, oh, yeah? two like forty-six inches. Side by side, where that way I could have one that just has stays on ESPN, right? Like Sports Center or whatever. Have the other one have a live game or whatever. Or if I want to play video games, I can do on that TV or use it as a monitor for my computer. Anything. Yeah, yeah. I think that'd be pretty fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's kind of excessive for a small room, but uh, you I mean, can do. You I'm can American. Do. Excess is what I do. All right. What size you say? Two what? Forty six inches. Are right, you can do two forty sixes or you could you could double down and do like I I can see like four thirty twos. It's too small. I do four forty sixes. Uh, 
that might be a little excessive. <laughs> well, one day that that will be a room in my house. I, I eventually I will get a two forty two like four forty twos. Well, I'll in my living room. I will yeah, mount yeah. I will mount them like one big square. I will put them all next to each other, and it will be like going my house. My living room will, will be a sports bar. Yeah, yeah. That will be. I'll probably cry. I will probably tear up when I see that. that That's going to be a high fucking bill on your uh, your uh, direct TV then. That's a lot of receivers, son. Well, you know, you would just, you. I would have. Set it up as a business account? No, I have like two boxes. Right. You know, because just two boxes and then the PS3 hooked up to one. Okay. Like a Roku box or something like that. Hooked, right, you right. know, because really Sports Center is going to be on one. Right. And then I'll I'm just thinking the, baseball season. I can literally see you with like four games going. That probably will happen, but I can do that. I'll get the MLB package. Right. Hook my PS3. You get you get PS3. Right. You run one off there. One run off the Roku. Okay. Run one off the Direct TV and run one off like a, the Apple. I could buy like a um, ninety-nine buck Apple TV. Okay. All right. Or uh, Xbox or something. Fuck Xbox. Yeah. Well, they got that ESPN chip, that app or whatever. Why doesn't PS3 have an ESPN app? I don't know. I don't have an answer for Sony. You, Step your shit up. <laughs> Cause you have, I, I love you for Blu-ray, but the fact you don't have ESPN on your system is bullshit. Yeah, yeah that's where you support it. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking uh, I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe they just kind of figured, you know, maybe not. It's probably some bullshit licensing thing between Mark and Microsoft. Probably. And probably. That's yeah. usually how it goes, yeah. licensing and shit. Who's, who's going to pay the money to step up and be like, I want to uh, have your shit, sir, so... Speaking of things that piss me the fuck off right now. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So we're going to have a whole show dedicated to the weekend recap of V-Pain's birthday. <laughs> but one little thing that I noticed when we went out, I kept hearing everywhere I fucking walked in. I was like, what the, the Harlem shake. fuck is that shit? And I'm sitting there and I'm listening and it says, do the Harlem shake. You know, like Jason just said, and I was like, it's not the fucking Harlem Shake. Yeah. Wasn't yeah. that shit from like the night, like Mace and like. It was, yeah. yeah. Like all yeah. that. Can't stop. Won't stop. It was bad boy. That's what it was. I don't know what it was, but <laughs> it, whatever it was, it was, it wasn't that. It right. wasn't some electronic fucking. Yeah. And it's not even really, the whole thing is not even a Harlem Shake. They just call it a Harlem Shake because they fucking sampled something. Why, I just see people jumping up and down. Like, okay, why doesn't anyone dance? Why is it, when did it become cool not to dance anymore? Like. You remember back in the day, it was like there, there were dances, like you know, sh- certain songs would have it. You would, you know, You'd have a dance. Yeah, and it was cool. Like, it, you didn't like kid and play. Yeah, I, I'm really fucking aging, dating myself right now. <laughs> but like you know, like a house party, and house shit. party. Like the the motherfuckers <laughs> who could dance were the ones who were the shit. Those were the dudes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, even going back like all the way, like you know, fucking Beat Street and shit. Yeah, even farther back, like fucking Fred Astaire. Yeah, shit like that. Like the motherfuckers who could dance with the fools who got the they ladies got the and shit. You know what I mean? It was that you were shit. Now it's like. No, now you can't dance because you don't. That doesn't look cool. So now you just stand there and you you kind you move your shoulder a little bit or jump up and down. I don't know what the fuck they're doing, but the maybe it's because the music doesn't lend itself to it now. I don't right. know. Well, yeah, not a lot of music you can kind of. I don't know if it's music you just can't dance to. Like, <laughs> I feel like you can't enjoy that shit unless you're on drugs. Yeah, you gotta be on a fucking e trip or something. <laughs> yeah, Molly's or whatever the kids are doing Dropping these acid days. And shit it's just man, retarded. Seriously, because I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna personally make it a goal to make songs that have like dance. There's instructions in there, like you know, oh, do this, do that. Do oh, so you're talking like the electric slide, like back in the day, or the oh, fuck yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the like, cha cha slide, you know, tootsie roll, fucking, whatever. I don't yeah, give a yeah, fuck. Fucking directions, instructions. But but, but, but shit that when it came on, people knew what it, what they were supposed to do. To yeah, it, you know what I mean? Yeah. But now, like, because that shit, like, that has. I don't think one motherfucker in Harlem. <laughs> Let's listen to that for one. <laughs> and for two, I I don't think you can do that dance to that song. No, no, no. If you if you really know what the Harlem Shake is, the official Harlem Shake. Yeah, like go to go to YouTube and, and put like Harlem Shake nineteen ninety fucking eight. That sounds about right. <laughs> Oh, right. Yeah, that sounds circa nine ninety seven ninety. Maybe it's his ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight in that era. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a crotchety old bastard. And <laughs> anything that came out past like two thousand, I think, it's is fucking shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> because it is, dude. There's so much bullshit out there. I mean, I'll, I'll let you, Kanye. <laughs> yeah, uh, fuck Kanye. I can't stand that <laughs> motherfucker either. I like Kanye when he used to still do hip hop. 
Nah. Like through the wire, that, that first album through was, the wire was the shit. That so. first whole album that he did was the shit. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, he decided that that was that eight oh eights and heartbreaks. That's the I fucking love, worst shit ever. I love that album. Fuck, but you're gay. You're into gay shit too, so I love that album. Not that I hate, have anything against the gays. I just don't like their music. Eight oh eight and heartbreaks not gay. That that dude went through an emotional time with that whole album. All he did was got on auto tune and repeated the same shit over and over and over. Uh, he, he was heartbroken. It was a heartbroken album. His girl fucking just split and shit. Like, no, he was gonna marry the chick. No, he just decided that. Oh, I want to fucking dress like Max Hedrum and fucking <laughs> come out with some <laughs> shit that T Pain's already played out and see if people buy it. And they did because people are retarded. But I love that album. That's what I'm saying. Like it just uh, yeah just just in general most shit out now is fucking bullshit. A lot of it is yeah yeah we we've had this discussion before. Yeah, I, I I always get angry about it, but, <laughs> no, but yeah, the Harlem Shake shit it's <laughs> fucking retarded. Like I, I I like I'm specifically gonna go back on purpose now and just look for the old Harlem Shake, just watch it and yeah. Well, uh, if we can, we'll try and find it and we'll throw it on the uh, we'll find some videos and throw them up on the on the website. So or maybe we'll record a video of us doing the original Harlem Shake. Oh shit, there you go. Cause yeah, cause this new shit, which isn't like you walk into a club now, or it's like it's if it's not that kind of shit, it's even worse. It's the top forty. Yeah, the like, shit that's like on the radio. Pitbull. Yeah. Hey. Can I tell you my gripe with the club? What's up? This is my gripe with the club. One, we stand in line forever outside, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, now we the fucking almost capacity and shit. We gotta wait for like eight motherfuckers to leave out so the crew can get in. We get in. It's crowded as a fucking slave ship. Niggas is on top of niggas. It's just <laughs> fucking <laughs> hot. Yeah, motherfuckers are planking yeah, and shit. It's fucking hot and sweaty and shit. Motherfuckers is rude and pushing you and shit. All right, whatever. So you get to the bar. The bartender don't fucking see you for like 30 fucking minutes because you're a dude and you ain't no chick with your tits out. So you get no fucking play. I have my tits out always. Okay, well, well, maybe not for you then. Maybe you, you, you know, and you're tall. So you just kind of stand out in the crowd. But... You know, then, okay, so that takes forever to get a fucking drink, right? And then the drinks are like $35 for a fucking, you know, I don't know what, what the fuck, uh, $11 for a fucking uh, Long Island or some shit. And then it's mostly ice in the glass. <sighs> Lame. Two, all right, well, not even two. This is my biggest fucking gripe of clubs. American Stop 40. I don't want to hear that shit in the club. And if you do play it in the club, play the fucking record version. We all 21. We had to show ID to get in this bitch to drink. Why are we playing the same shit we hear on the radio? I, I can listen to that shit for free. But you playing shit without curse words. You playing a fucking edited version of shit. You playing a safe version. No, no. I'm going to need you to play some fucking raunchy ass shit. I'm going to need you to play the real fucking version of the song. Because every time I start singing a song and it, it fucking shit's getting cut out, I get pissed. I just fuck the club. I want I want to open a club. Where basically it's a, it's a 90s themed club and all you're going to hear is records from like Biggie and Niles. then, it, well, yeah, well, they can't, well, the air. I like, mean, the I'm, air. I'm talking like, like even fucking older, like two yeah. life crew and shit. Right. right. I want to hear, face down, ass up, somebody say, hey, we want some food, hey. you know, like whatever, like yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. sounds amazing to me. Like in the club, that'd be crazy as fuck if they started playing that. And then if in my club, the last hour maybe 90 minutes this is what's gonna happen so it goes from to all right all you ladies grab that special fella and get real close we're gonna slow it down and then you're gonna then jodeci is gonna come on i wanna freak you i wanna freak you you know because that way because what do most people go to the club for uh, drinking and find a chick to fuck. Exactly. Yeah. How the fuck are you gonna find someone to take home when you're going hey, yeah, yeah, <laughs> at two in the morning? It's like no. At that time, everyone's kind of faded. Right. You want to find and somebody who's, who's kind of tired. Yeah. Feet and hurt. so you can't get tired if you're jumping up and down all crazy and shit. You got you want to get close. Right. And you want to like find someone to bring them in and caress, and you'll just get it fucking get the mood right. Yeah, motherfuckers don't slow dance no more. And then. Yeah, I, why? Because because of the bullshit they play in a club. But did, I, is it me or was there a time like when we were younger where they played that shit? Dude, I remember fucking homecoming as well. This shit, son. Like, fucking homecoming dance like was my shit. Like, I right, we played fucking house music. 
We played all of the, the hip hop and shit. But yeah, later on, like towards the end of it, now slow songs. You know, you fucking. I, there was a point in time when you know you'd be at a party or you'd be somewhere, and and if you, especially if you had a school function, the teacher would have to tell you, hey, 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 a little space, a little space in between there. You know what I mean? Now, eh. Whatever. They don't have to worry about it because everybody's fucking jumping up and down all over the place. Yeah, that, that's why I say they will. Wait, I got one more thing. I'm sorry. Uh, another grab about the club. Uh, fuck bottle service. That's bullshit. That's the biggest fucking ploy <laughs> fucking ever. That you don't want to pay $150 to sit down? No, nah, nigga. 100 <laughs> Dude, all right. So we're going to get into the recap, but I just, I'm going to touch on one little thing. We was at the spot, and you pay $150, and depending on the place, two, dollars $300 for. A thirty-five dollar bottle bottle of, of vodka, or but you get a sparkler inside it. Okay, so you get a thirty-five dollar bottle of vodka, a ten cent sparkler, some chick who's already getting paid because she's at work walking around with the sparkler to go sit at a couch, and juice and okay, okay, you get chaser, you get a little orange juicy, little cranberry yeah. that is in a in a fucking carafe, and it. I mean, come on. But I'll tell you what, I got bad knees. Standing for four four hours, I probably would have paid one hundred fifty dollars to sit my ass down. Fuck that shit. Well, because think about it, if there's if it's and then people don't even sit down like because we was at the spot and we were standing outside of the rope, right? Yeah. And then it was a group of motherfuckers standing inside of the rope, but and they didn't sit down. Bottle All service works like in Vegas. If there's like, okay, if when there's a fifteen dollar cover charge, right? And they're saying it's one hundred fifty dollars a bottle, and you can get. You, know, you and all your boys, 10, 10 of you get in. Uh-huh. So then it's like, all right, we're paying the cover charge and anyway, so we're, right. but we're just giving you, we're getting free booze for it. Okay. So that's basically the way I look. If you have a big group, it's worth it. Okay. If you if it's three motherfuckers, you're just up. <laughs> now you're just tricking off. You look like an Armenian douchebag. <laughs> I don't know why Armenian, but some kind of Euro douche fuck. <laughs> like a man wearing fucking uh, short pants. <laughs> so this <laughs> is what we're going to do. We'll, we'll start a club. All right. 90s, early 2000s music. Right, right. Last 90 minutes, slow jams. Late, we got to go late 80s, early 90s, early 2000s. Yeah, slow jams could be from any era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, no bottle service. No bottle service. Fuck that shit. Because cheap, cheap drinks. Yeah. Because when guys are trying to get girls drunk, they we respect the fact that there's a recession. If we're going to give you cheap alcohol, we're going to give you cheap drinks. Right, right. If you want to pay top shelf, then you pay more. But yeah. yeah. But well, I mean, we don't care. Yeah, you're not gonna pay twelve bucks for a vodka and water. <laughs> That's the biggest crock of shit ever. <laughs> but yeah, I, 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 we should open a club. Why not? Um, other than the fact that all clubs fail. But, but why do they fail? Because they pretty much all follow the same fucking motif. This is true. If we fucking start some shit up, and it's you know, because I mean, think about it, like cats our age, like we're in our thirties. See, this is what I like about spots in Chicago, man. Like, they have, like, taverns and shit where it's, like, age-appropriate music and it's an age-appropriate spot. Like, there's certain places where, even though the drinking age is 21, these places regulate their own shit to where you can't get in unless you're 30, sometimes 35. Yeah, see, that sounds horrible because even though I'm 30-something, I don't want to – if I, if I were single – I wouldn't want to go home with someone who's thirty five. <laughs> well, they, they mainly do it. They mainly do it because they don't want. I want to no. feel young still. Okay, <laughs> God damn it. They do it mainly because they don't want no riff rav, no fucking rookies in there drinking. You know, yeah, not knowing how to night. fucking hold their liquor and shit. So, but I, I mean, yeah. I guess theoretically we could try opening a club. I mean, yeah. we yeah. could start out with that's a club at the house. One night a week. One night. <laughs> have hella motherfuckers over. Have a little rope outside. Yeah. Yeah. I'll set up the ones and twos, and it'll be on wax, not bullshit, computer DJ shit. Okay. And, um, yeah, we'll just have, like, someone behind the in, someone in the kitchen, in the kitchen making, making, making drinks. Make, making drinks. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like some good shit. Okay, and, and here's the, another idea for the club. Right, right. So we got the music thing set up, the slow dance thing. We should we rent out rooms. Okay. Okay. You know how some places have like hourly rates. We right. have like little, that's the like phone booth, maybe a little bit bigger than a phone booth size, okay. like a wall of them, with right, curtain right, right. and shit, and the lock and whatever. But you have a set of hourly rates, set of, fuck, not even half hourly rates, because you're in the club, you're just trying to skeet and scoot. <laughs> you know, I'm like a little quarter hour rates, right, you know? right, right, like a dollar a minute. <laughs> 
We got to prepay because just because you only lasted two minutes doesn't mean you don't got to pay the full fifteen dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then we have cleanup crew going after. Right, right. Resanitize and re-rent. That we we'd have to get a big fucking laundry machine, dude. We'd have to get a fucking big ass. Oh, everything's leather. Just wipe it down. <laughs> Just wipe it down. I'm not going in that motherfucker because that sounds horrible. But <laughs> but I know plenty of people who would. The guy next to me would. Who the fuck is next to you? You. No. No. I, well, I, we would have a plus size booth, like a handicap booth. <laughs> <laughs> like the handicap stall in the bathroom. We have a handicap booth in the club. <laughs> Then it's comfortable. Oh shit! Yeah, I need elbow rooms. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess it's about time we recap the week. Um, so yeah, watch The Walking Dead. Get on that shit. Um, get a lot of TVs for your room. Sounds like a good idea. I need to fucking save up. Give me a fucking TV. Um, Jason recommends watching channels about fatness. Hey man, Bacon Paradise is the shit. The United States of Bacon is awesome too. If you watch Hulu, Hulu, let me know if it's worth buying. And we're gonna open a club. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna try and get that shit going. And the Harlem Shake, circa 2013, is bullshit. Yeah, fuck that shit. We're so, going back to the original. Take that, take that, bad boy, bad yeah, boy. Yeah, uh huh, uh huh. Can't stop, won't stop. Lock it to the Vegas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. But yeah, I guess that about wraps it up. Like I said, you can find us at www.epic6p.com, at the Pit Podcast on Twitter. You can find me, Jay. I'm at uh. At Shy Town to Motown on uh, Twitter. I'm at Epic Six underscore E on Twitter and leave us some comments, y'all. I mean, I know I know people that at Death Row, some of the other inmates. I know y'all listen because y'all always uh, come up to us and say yeah. stuff and talk about the show, yeah. and we really appreciate that. But uh, you know, go on uh, iTunes and, and leave us some comments. Uh, shoot us some emails. We'll start. You know, we'll check that. We get yeah. the updates and all that. Seriously, you go on iTunes. It's not that fucking hard. You pl- you click subscribe. You click five stars, and you put a comment. Put awesome. Eric sounds sexy. You know, I would really like to bang it. Whatever. You, like that all makes sense. Yeah, put, that does. That does because that's what I put last week. Yeah. So you put that on the iTunes, then you go over to the website. You can download. You can download directly from our website if you really want to. As long as you do, that, and you can leave comments on the Podomatic or Stitcher, or whatever. Just the main thing is tell friends about us, rate spread us, spread the word, yeah, spread the word. We try to take this thing to the next level, which is right now we're five levels below shit, so we're trying to get to shit. Right. So we're trying to get about it. Help, help us you. get to shit level. That'd be awesome. Yeah. So uh, I'm glad you said something about downloading because I know some cats out there don't have the. Uh, you know, don't have uh, what is it? Unlimited data on their phones or whatever, so maybe they don't download it or they don't listen and stream. Yeah, download it. You can go right to the site and download it right on your phone and uh, like to listen to it at the house or whatever. Just no, basically uh, spread the word. Yeah, Get us out. No there. excuses, people. Make us. You love us in real life. You can love us online. I mean, we love y'all. Yeah, just help us. Help you. Help us. Pretty much, and That's pretty much right other than that, uh, fucking kill yourselves. All right, well, uh, I think we out. Yeah, die. <laughs> <Dick>. <laughs>